25 laps and the American Vintage Modifieds. Making the fast getaway is Brian Norman in a 09. Trying to track him down will be Ben Levangi in a double zero. Battle on for third. It is the 70 going way up high. Skip Swantek as we saw Swantek spin earlier tonight in his heat race. And at the front, Brian Norman, a skilled street stock competitor. Helps out many of the competitors on Saturday nights here at the bowl. Does look like Lamangi is closing in ever so slightly as we have roared through the first four laps. And they have really checked out from the 70 of Swantec, who's under siege as Gary Byington puts his car into the top three. So the newer styles leading the way. 09. Of Norman, actually, a reproduction of a Mustang that might be the campaign here, that very same 09 number. And right behind him, the double zero, a Joe Brady, former Joe Brady machine, that Teddy Christopher raced. And they have a half track lead over the 30 of Gary Byington. The tussle for fourth between Robert Walton. The Outlaw and Skip Swantek in the Sal D Flying 70. Be a multi time winner here at the Speed Bowl back in the 60s, early 70s, when that style of car was prevalent in the Modifieds. And then one day here at the Bowl, the debate as to who was first it was actually here at the Speed Bowl that a Pinto. The Seabury Tripler debuted the M, and a few weeks later, it became legal in NASCAR when Bob Judkins, Ryan Priest's grandfather, brought the 2X out for the first ever spring scissor at the Stafford Motor Speedway with Ed Flipke Sr. behind the wheel. And Flipke was winning that race until late in the race, a water pump let go. And Fred DeSaro was able to be the winner the first time ever of the Spring Scissor. And we'll look for our leaders as Norman putting the five a lap down. So they pretty much lapped the entire field except for Gary Byington. And we are only at the halfway point of this race. I do believe the other body style that we see out there might be a Cavalier, and that is Byington's, I believe, and also the double zero. But they wheel their way around the track and into turns three and four. And perhaps waiting to strike is Ben Levangi, as we've seen Levangi in victory lane here at the Thompson Speedway when they run vintage races, Stafford when they have vintage races, and here at the Bowl when they have vintage races. But the man who knows the land is Brian Norman in the 09. Okay. So he has the history. Levangi may have the luck. But right now, Norman is able to hold him off, and they are closing in on lapping the 30 of Gary Byington. Now, in the history of the New London Waterford Speedball, it has only happened where the leader lapped the entire field. 
and that was done by the great Ali Silva in the Hot Wheels 100, an opening event of a season here at the ball. And there were some pretty big drivers, such as Bugsy Stevens, Fred DeSaro, some really big names in that race. So it's not like he was racing against also rands when he pulled that feet off. And uh, he had a zero, number zero Pinto that was offset when he had that powerful win as the field now positions one and two put Gary Byington, who's in third, a lap down. Down to five to go, and here comes Lavangie. Almost got there. And he has trouble as he tried to hang on to that car coming. He went down the back stretch and that car, it's not going to be even on the back stretch in an S motion like LaVangie did, and that allows Brian Norman to pull away. They go around Jakes, next on his hit list, the 70 of Swantek. Swantek goes up high, allows him to go by. LaVangie will go by, and we'll be down to the final two laps. They will close in on the five of Wolfen. That car goes high and allows the field to clear. Norman, off the corner. Terry the Turtle coming by the bus right now. And down the back stretch for the final time. It will be Brian Norman who will ride home with the feature event win in the American Vintage Modifieds. Ben Levangie will come home second. In third. Well, Brian, how does it feel to wheel this hot rod around in the American Vintage Modifieds? You know, it's a blast. I don't care if you're racing tricycles, matchbox cars, vintage mods, street socks. You're out here at the bowl and this is just fun. You can't beat it, man. Let's talk about it. Or is this, this a replica of the original Mike Levy car? Is that my correct? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, this is a 67 Ford Mustang. Uh, Mike and his guy put this, Mike and the IHF racing guys put this thing together. Uh, got it back from Powder Coat. I jumped on board, started helping them. And uh, thank you very much. I was, I was the lucky one to fit in the seat. Who are some of the other folks who help out that got you out here tonight? Yeah, absolutely. First and foremost, Charlie Vance, I mean, appreciate the water. It's hot as heck out here tonight, and uh, this will go down nice. Um, just honestly, Mike Beebe, MJ, Jason, John, I mean, th we got guys that, from Mike's heyday, they come around and they think they're not doing anything crazy. WD-40 and the rubber off. Um, Mike lets me work on this thing as much as I want to. Um, the boss lady, Karen, she doesn't put up too much of a fight when we're up at the farm and start working on school buses. Um, just everybody, I mean, this is a blast. Um, hopefully I can do this well Saturday night in my SK debut. <laughs>